Now that the night begins with sable wings to overcloud the brightness of the sun, and that in darkness pleasures may be done. Come, Bell Imperia, let us to the bower, and there in safety pass a pleasant hour. I follow thee, my love, and will not back, although my fainting heart controls my soul. Why, make you doubt of Pedringano's faith? No, he is as trusty as my second self. Go, Pedringano, watch without the gate, and let us know if any make approach. Instead of watching, I'll deserve more gold by fetching Don Lorenzo to this match. What means, my love? I know not what myself, and yet my heart foretells me some mischance. Sweet, say not so. Fair fortune is our friend, and heavens have shut up day to pleasure us. The stars, thou seest, hold back their twinkling shine, and Luna hides herself to pleasure us. Thou hast prevailed. I'll conquer my misdoubt, and in thy love and counsel drown my fear. I fear no more. Love now is all my thoughts. Why sit we not? For pleasure asketh ease. The more thou sit'st within these leafy bowers, the more will Flora deck it with her flowers. Aye, but if Flora spy Horatio here, her jealous eye may think I sit too near. Hark, madam, how the birds record by night for joy that Bel Imperia sits in sight. No, Cupid counterfeits the nightingale to frame sweet music to Horatio's tale. If Cupid sings, then Venus is not far. I, thou art Venus, or some fairer star. If I be Venus, thou must needs be Mars. And where Mars reigneth, there must needs be wars. Then thus begin our wars. Put forth thy hand, that it may combat with my ruder hand. Set forth thy foot to try the push of mine. But first my looks shall combat against thine. Then ward thyself. I dart this kiss at thee. Thus I retort the dart thou threwst at me. <sighs> Nay, then, to gain the glory of the field, my twining arms shall yoke. And make thee yield. Nay, then, my arms are large and strong withal. Thus elms by vines are compassed till they fall. Oh, let me go. For in my troubled eyes now mayst thou read that life in passion dies. Oh, stay a while and I will die with thee. So shall thou yield and yet have conquered me. Who's there? Dringana. My lord, away with her, take her aside. Oh, sir, forbear, your valour is already tried. Quickly dispatch, my masters. What, will you murder me? Aye, thus. Ah! And thus. Ah! These are the fruits of love. Ah! Oh, save his life and let me die for him. Oh, save him, brother. Save him, Balthazar. I loved Horatio, but he loved not me. But Balthazar <laughs> loves Bel Imperium. Oh. Although his life was still ambitious, proud, yet is he at the highest. Now he is dead. Murder! Murder! Help her on a mower! Come, stop her mouth! <laughs> Away with her. What outcries pluck me from my naked bed and chill my throbbing heart with trembling fear, which never danger yet could daunt before? Who calls Hieronimo? Speak! Here I am! I did not slumber. Therefore, it was no dream. No, no. It was some woman cried for help, and here within this garden did she cry, and in this garden must I rescue her. But stay. 
What murderous spectacle is this? A man hanged up and all his murderers gone. And in my bower, to lay the guilt on me, this place was made for pleasure, not for death. Those garments that he wears I oft have seen. Alas, it is Horatio, my sweet son. Oh!